So here is my 1988 BT Viscount in the beige colour. Now I got this film brand new in box with all its original packaging so that's really cool. So here's the original box. As you can see it's got a picture of the grey version of the Viscount on the front. And it says British Telecom Viscount there and British Telecom Viscount on the top there as well. On this side it shows you the different colours you can get this touch tone version in. Which is beige, ice grey, red or white. Mine being the beige version of course. It's got an old British Telecom logo at the top there. Same on this side as well. At the bottom on this side it shows the specs for this particular phone. And on this side it shows the new 431A BT plug. Well, not new anymore, but when this phone was originally produced in the 1980s, that was a new addition to British Telecom. But we do still use that 431A BT plug today, which is rather interesting. On the front lip of the box there's some features of the phone. So it says fully electronic telephone, distinctive low profile design, tone caller with adjustable volume control and switchable pulse or tone dialing. So originally when the Viscounts came out in the early 80s, they were pulse only. So although they were press button, they dialed out in pulse. So they didn't have this star and hash keys. Basically when you pressed a button, it would create an electronic pulse for whichever number you've pressed, simulating the old rotary dialing. And later on in the later 80s, they introduced a dual signaling model like this, which had the star and hash keys. And they also had a switch underneath where you could switch it between pulse dialing, which was the rotary type, or tone dialing, which was, you know, the touch tone sounds that you hear when you press a key. And basically they did that in the, on the later versions because more and more exchanges in the later 80s were changing to the digital system from the Strouger type system. Um, the Strouger only accepted the pulse dialing, which was the old style rotary. So, of course, in the later 80s, if you bought one of these phones, if you had a digital system, you didn't want to be waiting around for the pulses to be created if you didn't have to. So they created it with a, a switch which you could change it between pulse and tone. So, you know, depending on which exchange you're on, you could switch it accordingly. Hopefully I didn't make that sound too confusing. I knew what I meant. <laughs> but anyway, um, of course, all the original bits and pieces are in the box. So, you know, the guarantee card, the little swing ticket, which was on the handset card. And of course, the manual. So that's cool. Uh, the original bags and things are in there as well. So that's really nice to have. So the Viscount was a rather interesting design. Very sleek, very, very 80s looking. Um, although slightly boring, if you will, for a collector's point of view. But it's got a very interesting handset, as you can see. Rather a unique looking ergonomic design. Of course, short handset cord has to be expected from a British phone. Now there's the switch hook. It's got some nice British Telecom lettering there. There's also an earth recall switch as well. There's the number card. Fire Police Ambulance 999, Operator 100. Um, so, you know, here's the handset, there's the receiver, there's the transmitter. It's an all electronic affair, of course, so you do get clear transmission with this. There's no carbon microphones or anything. So there's the keypad. It's an all in numeric affair, as you can see. It has the star and hash keys, as I said, because this is a tone or pulse model. You can switch it between either. It's got last number redial there, which um, R stands for memory redial. The S button there stands for secrecy, so you can hold that down while you make your secret asides to other people listening in the room. You know, if the phone rings and you can hold this button down, for example, and say, oh, it's that miserable bitch at number 16 asking us to take a parcel in for her again. And then you would release it and say, oh, how are you? You know, <laughs> we've all done it. In the old days, you would just cover the um, transmitter with your hand, which... If anyone's ever experienced trim phones, you would know that that was a pointless idea. But anyway, um, I'll show you the underside. So it has a tone collar, as you can see. And you can't actually turn it off, you can just um, make it softer, basically. And all it does is it just covers up the holes, practically, um, to make it quieter, which actually does work well, which is bizarre. So it says Viscount Telephone, designed and manufactured in the UK by STC for British Telecom. So it is a British made phone 
I think it was one of the last actually. It says approved for connections to the British Telecom network, no user, serviceable parts inside. And there it tells you about the switches that I was talking about before. And of course the um, familiar 80s approval sticker for connection to British Telecom networks. And it was made in 1988, as you can see there, by the serial number 88. Um, but yeah, it's the underside. It's quite a funky type phone. Almost commercial looking, if you ask me. But it's still a nice phone to have. My nana actually had one, so that was the reason I wanted one of these. And to get one new was just a bigger bonus. So anyway, I'll give you a demo of it. So there's the dial tone. I'll ring my 60s mobile, which I recently did a video on. There we go. Should be able to hear it ring first. But there you go. If I hang up and press last number redial, it should dial out again. So there you go. I can't really show you the secrecy button, but it does work. But anyway, without further ado, I will show you the ringer, which is quite nostalgic, this sound to me, because I remember it, that sound of it ringing the Viscount in my Nana's kitchen, so it's quite reminiscent for me. But anyway, here's what the ringer sounds like. It's pretty loud and it's very, very 80s sounding. You can make it softer. So there you go. So, hopefully you enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.